Hi, everyone. Tim Rhea here, Digital Health Live at Exponential Medicine 2014 in the Hotel Dell. I ran into Jenny Alden, who uh, produces a cool prize called the Palo Alto Prize. So I thought we'd interview her. So tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Jenny Alden. I'm a producer on the Palo Alto Prize, which is a three-year bioscience competition to hack the aging code. Okay. What's your background? My background is actually in production. Okay. Oh, cool. So <laughs> she's familiar with the camera. So uh, what we like to do is kind of interview different folks and see um, what's happening. Uh, what brings you down to the event? So I'm actually employed by Palo Alto Investors. We're a healthcare hedge fund that mm invest in healthcare. Um, our president, Dr. Jun Yoon, he's personally sponsoring the Palo Alto Prize by donating a million dollars uh, for the prize. So what is the prize and what types of companies are you looking for? So the prize is really a homeostatic capacity prize. Mm -hmm. When you're young, your body, like a weeble wobble, it pings back to center. You get cut, you stay up too late, you get sick, you, you bounce right back. Mm -hmm. um, around 40 is what I hear is that kind of magical number where uh, you can't ride a roller coaster the way you used to. You can't drink the way you used to. Your body t you know, takes two weeks to heal from a cold instead of three days. Yeah. Uh, your weeble wobble is not pinging back to center anymore. It's just staying tilted. Uh -huh. uh, so the prize is really about putting the healthcare system back into your own body okay. so an aging mammal can reping back to center the way a youthful one can. We're using heart rate variability as a surrogate measure for homeostatic capacity okay. and the result will be longevity. So is it a startup you're looking for or an older company? What's the range? So we're looking for competitors from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. Right now we have 16 teams signed up from all over the world. Uh, we have labs from reputable universities. We have venture capitalist teams. Um, it's really anyone who has an idea and an aha moment of how they can go about it. Yeah. Uh, we have teams coming at this from stem cells, from visceral fat, circadian rhythms, oxytocin. Um, really a range of incredible ideas and I think at the very least some extraordinary science is going to come out of this prize and I look forward to seeing what happens three years from now. I feel like it's inevitable that we're going to solve aging. All we're really doing is pulling up the timeline. I mean let's go solve this thing. Now that we've got the process started, this has grown so fast. We've got a world-class board of advisors, and it keeps growing. I believe that today there's every possibility that the next generation will live beyond 120 years. It's one of the most exciting fields to be working in right now. We can develop therapies which actually postpone aging itself. We're living in a day and age where we have the potential right now to crack the code. The question is, how do we make that happen sooner rather than later? Our cells in our body are like computers that run on software that's coded in DNA. Life is programmable software and we can hack it. So when I think about the definition of health, it is the feeling of nothing. When you're truly healthy, you feel nothing because your body's in perfect homeostasis. The homeostasis system is like a weeble wobble. No matter how it leans, it goes back to the middle naturally. And what I love about this is it's really a physiological thesis. It's looking at something that's underlying many parts of the body. The autonomic nervous system is one of the body's master switches that oversees the function and dysfunction of the other organ systems of the body. It's one of the many systems in the body that misbehave in one way or another during old age. And one of the particular ways to measure that misbehavior is heart rate variability. I think heart rate variability could be a great example of a true quantitative biomarker for aging. The goal of targeting aging is really about living a better quality life. The Palo Alto Prize really could inspire a new generation of scientists to enter this field. Put up the prize, it's fixed cost innovation. And look at teams from all over the world competing for it. Some of the greatest scientific innovations have been associated with the motivation to win a prize. I talk to scientists who are working in this field, they are struggling to get $5,000, $10,000, $25,000. A million dollar prize would have a profound impact in this area of study. We have the potential to tap into genius no matter where they are, whether they're working at Google or in the middle of Mumbai or they're a rocket scientist in, in the middle of Moscow. 
seeking to stimulate innovation in an area that is so fundamental. I think the Palo Alto Prize really has the potential to uh, galvanize the field. I'm super excited about this prize. It's personal to me. It's personal to everyone I know. It's a prize about life. If we solve this, we all win.